All right, we're gonna take a look at Inspector Moss, uh, the noir edition. This is put on Board Game Geek by uh, Peter Wenz, who actually also helped me out. Uh, he kind of made a custom sheet for me so that I could build it how I'm used to building things, which was very nice of him to do. So the game's all set up here. These are tiles uh, that I have mounted on foam court here. First time I've done that, and it will be the last time I've done that. Uh, it's just too bulky for me. Um, doing something small, you can see I have a mess kind of all around. There's, I'm cutting counters out for City of Confusion, uh, and then building a couple 18xx games. Uh, so in the meantime, we'll take a look at this. So it's actually a pretty cool looking little game. Um, these little guys here are suspects in a crime that has been committed right here. And this is Inspector Moss. Um, so what we're trying to do is uncover evidence, which are these and these tokens here. Uh, to eliminate all but one suspect and then get the suspect to the police car which will end up on the outside of the board somewhere. So you move around the board using these yellow connections here. The police lines which are here uh, make it more difficult to cross. Basically you need the uh, the whole game revolves around rolling dice and kind of a Yahtzee type mechanic. And then you're going to use these dice to travel uh, using, so you would need a three to move here. If there were a police line in the way, you would need an additional three to get there. Uh, you can also travel through sewers here. I'm using dice to do that also. Um, you can also uncover or gather evidence with the four in a row, three of a kind, lets you pick up one of the assistance tokens or you need a Yahtzee to make an arrest. Uh, everything revolves around time. Um, you can see I have seven colored dice and then this white die. This white die will say how much time passes um, and then some other things kind of play into that as well. So I'll sign off. I'm going to try to keep this one fairly short, um, but did want to video it. I started videoing Into the Bastards and um, kind of wasn't really my type of game, so I stopped. Hopefully this one is. Alright, and we're back uh, six minutes into the game, game time. I should have mentioned this 60 on here is how many minutes are available and you spend time like I said, from that white die. And then also if you use a special, all sixes are wild. If you use one to do something, that's another minute that takes to do something. Um, also traveling by sewer takes time. So you can see we're a little bit into the game. Um, and I covered this and I want to talk about it. So these arrows actually are used to point at who's innocent. There's that one. Um, there's also a four-way one and you have to put it on the tile you uncover it on. So, uh, we could put it here. We could put it that way, but then it's not doing much. So right now it's facing here. So hopefully there's gonna be a suspect here. And like I said before, we're trying to narrow these suspects down. Um, so that's where we are now. Um, I. screwed up. I was wanting to get from here to here, but I forgot to save dice to do that. But I didn't cover that evident, evidence, so that's nice. Um, I did want to mention, too, in case some of these images are familiar to any of you out there, um, it's a brilliant use of this Frank Miller artwork from Sin City. Um, I mean, that's one of the iconic, iconic images from the book. Um, of course, we all remember Marv. Oh, that's not even Marv, is it? That's uh, the detective. Whatever his name is. 
um, yeah, so great, great use of the artwork there. Just want to show some of that off. And again, it's a f free game. <laughs> so, you know, kind of uh, Creative Commons type stuff going on, which is really nice. And also the image he used for Inspector Moss is really cool. So we will get back to it and hopefully we can find out who our bad guy is. So we've gathered a little bit more evidence here, but that's not, so that makes her innocent for now, because it's that way. However, it's not doing much good this way. And we've kind of backed our way into a corner. However, there's a sewer here, which is that yellow icon. We're gonna go all the way down there and hopefully find some new stuff. I need to try to get into here. However, you can see it's blocked off this way. Um, so that one might be a little bit difficult to get into. But we shall see. We only have four suspects not on the board yet. And only one on the board is still a suspect, um, as you can see, which I didn't show the first time. But on the back, you flip them over so that they're shown as not guilty. It appears I had missed some evidence up here. I was around here and didn't put the evidence tiles on them. Walked right past that one. I, it's been there the whole time, but haven't collected it. So here's kind of where the game gets puzzly. Um, we have these evidence tokens. I don't know. I mean, I put it together and I'm sure I could go look at the file. But I don't know what which of these there are, um, and I don't know that I want to look. But so I have this uh, whistleblower. Nope, <laughs> this phone, which allows me to switch some of these tiles. I could switch two of them and then kind of reorient them. I like where that one is, but it, that kind of nullifies that one being there. So I wonder if that's there. We need one right there. There isn't though. Um, and I don't I don't have to use that right now. And we have 24 minutes. We're actually doing okay on time. I keep rolling pretty low. Um, so I spent these to uncover that evidence. I'm going to spend that four. You can see that four to move there. Um, and actually, I'll spend six, which is wild, to go there. And that's going to take me a total of two minutes. One for that, and one for using a wild. So let's check out a turn. So I'm rolling for a run of four numbers. So like one through four kind of thing. I get to roll twice. Um, a lot of wilds, two, three. So we could keep that to get that uh, evidence, but four is a little high for the time die right now. Well, we might be stuck with the four. And let's see, from there, we're gonna be stuck because that doesn't go. So we'll need to get back to this tile, so we need another four. And on the east side of town, it's kind of alleyways. There's not, there's not even sewers for me to get in anywhere over here. So we need another four, which we didn't get. I could spend a six and maybe we'll see. I don't know what that was, but it doesn't matter. We'll see if we need these sixes. So we'll do that to uncover this. All right, now it's getting really tricky. So we could place this like that, which makes this guy innocent. And we have two. So let's spend that and switch. What did we wanna do? We're gonna switch this and this. 
So that will make this guy innocent. Or not guilty, I should say. Uh, I'll point that one this way. So, uh, I understand it seems kind of abstract, lining things up like that to narrow it down, but it kind of makes sense. You're uncovering evidence that points to someone and saying, hey, they're not, they're not guilty. And if you make the evidence line up, in the way uh, a detective of his ilk would uh, kind of make sense. You know, it's a it's a neat little mechanism, and I can I can make it jibe in my in my brain pan. So we need to get this guy up to here. Now I can call in a favor with my whistleblower and move him to me, uh, and then need a Yahtzee. However, we still need to get. <laughs> so I don't know if you can see that. So there's no connection here, no connection here, because there's not one on this tile. So we have to go this way, this way, this way. No connection here. So we have a long way to go. I don't think I can teleport. There's no sewers down here. Uh, and that gonna cost four minutes. I don't know if it's worth moving. Let's move those two. So that's gonna be a total of six minutes that that took us. One, two, three, four, five, six. Do you think we can make it? I have 16 minutes to get him to the cop car. I didn't show it, but I spent the three. So I showed this the sixes. One was a wild there. One's a wild three. To pl cross that police line, you have to Spend two of the dice. And we are there, and he is under arrest. L looking back at the rules, you can actually make the arrest as soon as you've shown that one person isn't guilty, which is hilarious to me. You can pick a guy up, arrest them, and then make the evidence <laughs> line up against them. Pretty cool mechanism. We have 10 minutes. Um, I had it lined up uh, that we could get to there, however I forgot about the arrest, uh, so I re-rolled and got there. Let's see if we can, so we need a one, a five, and two fours, a five. So we need a one to get there, so I'm just going to set that aside. We need a five, however, maybe we don't want to use that five since it's there. Um, yeah, we're going to keep that as a one. We'll put that there. We need a five. We need two fours. We'll put that there. We need a five. So we need a couple more fours. It's the last roll. So we got one. So I usually don't do that, but just kind of illustrating why I'm saving those dice. So that's spending that one to go there, spending that five to go there, spending two fours because of the police line, spending a five, and then we would need another four to go there. We are out of fours. However, that turn only took us one minute. And we've done it. But the four, the two twos, the four, and the sixes. Uh, that's gonna cost six minutes. Barely made it. Um, astute viewers will have noticed that I cheated here. Somehow that tile got placed in a way that was not, there was no legal way for it to get into it. Um, and the police tile gets, or the car tile gets placed adjacent to the first outside tile that's flipped. Um, and I think it was one of the early tiles I flipped, so I don't think I understood kind of what was happening. But we have a success. Very cool. I really like how the game ends up looking at the end.
uh, really cool mechanism. Uh, I like these kind of solo dice festy games. Uh, kind of like the uh, oh, like oh my lair and uh, whatever that company is called. Uh, this, I mentioned the artist's name. I didn't mention the designer's name. Rebecca Bissell and Jonathan Warren. And their Inspector Moss, the Noir take. Done. Um, yeah, very, very simple game. Uh, as you can see, it's one sheet of really a sheet and a half of rules because the back is just what the tokens do. But they pack a lot in, in there. Um, definitely some fun choices to make and tough once the board is all built out, making your way back. Uh, I like the theme of how these evidence tiles work on uh, making your evidence point at who done it. All right.